Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we're going to take a look at some fancy new models that are coming soon from Forge World. It's the uh, the Horse Heresy Weekender in a couple of weeks, and to prepare to prepare the people for what you might experience, there's some new Night Lord stuff and some new Blood Angel stuff, and a ridiculous Mechanicum model because there's always some sort of ridiculous Mechanicum model going around. And well, we're just going to take a look because, frankly, this stuff is ripe for either conversions or just flat out using because. Some of this stuff looks really, really good. So to start with, there's a couple of Night Lord Praetors, one of which I really like, the other one I'm not so keen on. So let's, i tell you what, let's start with the one I'm not so keen on because I really like the other one. So there is a a Praetor just in power armor and a jump pack uh, who is armed with the uh, chain glaive. And to be honest, I'm not feeling it, but only because... There's like a weird scale thing going on with this one. I kind of like a lot of the individual elements. I like the hooks on the chains. I like the chainmail kind of tabard thing. I, I like the chains on the pauldrons. It's that very Night Lords, obviously. Jump pack's fine. It's just a jump pack. There's a couple of spikes on it, but, you know, not going to complain about that when there's a model like Hark and World Claimer running around. For some reason, the, the putting together of all of these, it just doesn't quite work for my money. It makes him feel very broad, very squat and very broad. There's something about the model where he doesn't look as though he's standing tall and imposing. He kind of looks a bit a bit hunched and a bit squished. I don't know whether it's because the chain glaive is massive, which is absolutely fine. You've, it's a chain glaive. They've got to be a bit over the top. But there's something about the overall pose of this model. And I think because the because the helmet is, you know, it's a stylized skull, which again, Night Lord's absolutely fine. But I think the combination of all of these things put together makes it a little bit busy. And if anything, if anything, I'll say a little bit dated as well. There's something about the general kind of silhouette of this thing that makes it look not old as in, you know, obviously stuff in the Horus Heresy is older than 740k. Just design-wise, it feels a little bit old. And I can't, I'm not entirely sure I can put my finger on why. I think it's the general... The general silhouette of it just feels a little too bulky. It's not very dynamic. It just kind of looks like he's stood there holding a massive weapon, which, let's be honest, I have no idea how you'd even fight with that, but I don't really care about that. The weapon's fine. It's just the overall look of the model. There is something that just doesn't quite work for that for me, which is a shame because I actually really like the uh, the Praetor in Terminator armor. I think that looks really, really good. That has got the right kind of, the right kind of pose, the right kind of attitude. It's it's very grim. It's very kind of, it is it is over the top. I mean, he's got he has literally got bones just hanging from multiple parts of the armor, and he has his own ridiculous chain axe. I'm assuming that is, yeah, I mean, something like that. It's mad. It's completely mental. Like how are you even use something of that size i do not know so that's what she said but this one just looks a lot better it looks a lot more imposing it looks a lot less dated the distribution of stuff i think because i think essentially because it's a terminator and it's not standard power armor it there is more kind of bulk there to mess with it doesn't look overloaded with tat even though actually when you look at it there is more in the way of trophies on this one there's more skulls there's more bones but because it's like it stands taller, because it's a different design, it's a different kind of shape, it doesn't look overcrowded to me. And to be honest, that ridiculous chain glaive axe thing looks way better than the chain glaive does. But then I don't think that would, you know, that that weapon would not work on a, on a marine power armor. I don't think. Yeah, I really like this one. I think this is really well done. It's got a really nice feel to it, a really nice look to it. The iconography is nice. The placement of the different trophies is good. The I've never been a big fan of like wrist-mounted weapons, but at the very least, that looks like it might actually work. Although a lot of that is probably down to the fact he's clearly got the uh, the sights on the helmet there, which I quite like. Yeah, I, I really like this one. It looks way better. It's something that I think you could do quite a bit with. And if you really wanted to use you know bits from it to create your own kind of to create your own version of this you know harvest it for parts and stuff or use it as a base for another conversion it looks a lot more approachable than the other model by far so yeah the of those two the two night lords praetors the the one in 
the one in standard armor just isn't doing it for me but the the terminator looks really really good there is also <laughs> the leviathan dreadnought which i really like i do like i like the way they say especially customized version of this fan favorite war machine with loads of legion specific detail the legion specific beast detail being a fucking severed torso that has been chained to the front that's that's the main part of the legion specific detail but you know what i'll let them off because look at it that i really like i really really dig that it looks so good it's not too over the top the bits that are on there are horrific enough there's you know mild changes to the overall body you know with the spikes and the chains that have been hooked on there's just little touches to that leviathan body that i think work really well because they're not like hugely over the top it doesn't look like it's it doesn't look like it's not going to work anymore because the amount of stuff that's been thrown onto it which is kind of the feel i get from the the standard praetor but yeah the the detail on it is really really nice that torso is grim as hell, which is exactly what it should be, because it's Night Lords after all. It's just it's just really dark. <laughs> and it should be. It's it's nicely done. I do like that. Good job on that. Definitely. So the uh, one of the other things is the Blood Angels. They get the Crimson Paladins, which is a let's face it. Camp as fuck name, but I'm digging it anyway. Uh, Sanguinary Guard, essentially, in Terminator armor, and because it's Blood Angels, they look incredibly, incredibly fancy. Incredibly fancy, in fact. I actually really like everything about these, but one thing. There is only a single thing I don't like. Like, I love the shields, I like the swords, I like the just the ostentatious amount of ornamentation that's going on there. In a way, kind of very, uh, very Emperor's Children, but then. You know, Blood Angels did always go a bit over the top with the decoration, didn't they? The only thing I don't like is what looks like the uh, the squad leader. Which, the rank I can't remember. Sergeant, probably? Who, who cares? With the, uh, the two-handed two weapon there. There is something about his pose that really hammers home how weird Terminator armor actually is. It's not an issue with the others. I think the ones that are holding a, a single-handed weapon and a shield, for some reason... The fact that the shoulders are really, really bulky and high compared to the head looks fine on all the others. There is something about the pose on that lead guy that looks like he's doing a hunchback kind of thing. Now, obviously, it's just the shape of the armor. That's all it is. You know, that is the style of the armor. There's, you know, multiple shoulder plates. It's obviously built up. It's hugely thick armor. It's bulky, and it, it looks the way it does for a good reason that's the design of it but that lead guy i don't know whether it's, whether it's the way his legs are i don't know if it's because he's not wearing a helmet i don't know if it's the posing of the arms he's the only one that looks like he's deformed <laughs> the others all look fine and i like the style of the armor overall just something about that pose on that first guy that is just not doing it for me i can't really pinpoint why it just looks off None of the others look off. They all look they all look like human or, you know, Astartes people. The first guy just has this weird hunch thing going and I'm just not feeling it. Which is a shame because overall, I think as a squad, there's such a massive amount of impact that's coming off this. It looks so nice. And the detail is really nice. The paint job is actually pretty nice as well, but the kind of the spread of decoration on the armor is really nicely done something about that first guy is just not doing it for me which is a pity because i really like it as a whole there's also the ridiculous uh ordinatus Acteus, which again i the warhammer community team hats off loving it while our me mechanicum speak is a little bit rusty we believe that ordinatus Acteus translates roughly into massive death drill yeah, I, I, I can see that. This super heavy transport allows you to deliver a complement of your chosen troops directly into the heart of battle, as well as unleashing all manner of seismic terror upon your foes. Because of course it does. Look at it. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. It's such a mad idea. I love it. I love the mechanic and stuff. It's all just so over the top and ridiculous. What well, I mean, why why drop something down on people when you can Go to the effort of tunnelling underground in a giant, like, subterranean torpedo. Let's just do that instead. It's it's silly. It looks like something out of the Thunderbirds. And therefore, I am all in favour. More of that. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Christ. And there is one other thing, but we don't know what it is yet. So there's a redacted by the Inquisition header. Oh, and there's one more thing. Something so awesome we couldn't fit it into the article. Probably could have done if you wanted to. Something Forward World fans have been looking forward to for a very, very long time. We'll have more on just what that is very soon. There's quite a few guesses going around, one of which being a Primarch. But to be honest, the last or the latest book in the series was supposed to come out last year, and it's still not here. It's just disappeared. It's like it got delayed and delayed and delayed, and it's still not around. My my guess would be that actually they've finished the latest book in the uh, in the Black Book series, the Horus Heresy series, and they're actually going to release it finally because it's been pushed so often. I would be surprised if it was another Primarch because surely we could do with actually having you know things they said they'd release for sure before dumping that kind of big reveal. I mean. It could be either, but it would make more sense to me for it to be the book, because that thing has been just hovering and never really arrived for quite some time at this point. It's kind of getting a little bit ridiculous. So if anything, I I hope it's that, because that is what everyone I know who plays Forge who plays Forge World, who plays Horus Heresy, is like, what the fuck is Forge World doing with this book? Where is it? If they kind of went, oh, you've been waiting for so long, but it's still not that. That would be not great, so with any luck. But yeah, the actual models for for what's coming up look really, really good. As I say, I'm not a fan of uh, not a big fan of the first Night Lord Praetor, but the, the Terminator one is fantastic, the Leviathan's great. Four out of five members of that of that Crimson Paladin squad look great as well. And there's a giant massive death drill. What more could you want from Mechanicum? Some nice stuff. To be honest, I'm really horribly tempted to to do some of the Blood Angel stuff for my Empress children. I really am. It's so fancy and over the top. I feel like there's so much that could be done. There's so many things that could be altered. They could make some really nice, like, I don't know, like maybe some some really funky possessed or chosen with the right mix of kits. Oh, that's worrying. That's bad. I'm going to stop looking at them now. Thank you very much for watching. Um, what do you reckon the uh, the not announced announcement thing is? The redacted thing? The thing that was so awesome we couldn't fit into the article. What do you reckon it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be the book? Do you think it's going to be a Primark? Do you think it's going to be some sort of massive update? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click Patreon video, subscribe, all that shit. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. The hand gestures for that are getting worse. It started out as like that, 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 and that. Now it's just, fuck it, do what you like. Click it if you want, or not. And I will see you for the next one. Toodaloo.